Well, this is fun. <laughs> this is gonna be comical. Uh huh. Have you done it before? Yeah. Okay. I, I usually avoid it, to be honest. Just it goes by me, truth. and I'm like, Oof. so just I'm just gonna be very truth. honest with you today. What's your Uber rating? Oh God, yours is probably high. Mine's I bad. don't think mine's good from college. Mine's I had, bad. I shared mine I'll with my ex. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. She's always late. Ooh. Definitely a five for five. Oh, I'm 4.91. 4.92. I just did a little <laughs> peek. I was like, oh man, I got beat out. Mine is embarrassingly low. Uh oh, you already know it? 4.88. Who did not give me five? <sighs> you beat me. What do you have? 4.84. Oh, I have a message though. Oh, nice picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got oh, five. five. Five stars. I'm a 4.72. Oh, 4.94. I'm a 4.89. Okay, mine's 4.86. Oh, why are you embarrassed with that? I feel like it should be a five. No. If you want to be exceptional. 4.78. <sighs> I think I'm a 4.72. Yeah, 4.72. That's not bad. 4.88. 4.62. Oh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> I don't even know, what does that mean? Is that, I'm like, a good tipper. Oh, oh my that indeed. explains a lot. She just graduated, yep. so that makes sense. Yep. <laughs> dinky yeah. town. Trying to get the girls in dinky, dinky town. town. What is the last note in your phone app? Oh, shoot. Do you know what mine is? I do? <laughs> oh, yeah. Her list of wedding invites. She's not even in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> just everyone. There's like 200 people. Everyone she would invite to her wedding. Yeah. And I have like my my God. bride. It's my bridal party. And then this is everybody. Mine is boring. Mine's just a list of things I had to do before I left. Yeah. I literally am like not in a relationship, but <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. I'll be scared. Um, <laughs> if we look, do we have to say? <laughs> Oh, mine is little lemon, 25% discount. <laughs> mine is smile of the day. I feel like it's Christmas presents for me. It was Christmas presents to my mom. When I'm gonna nap, when I'm gonna eat, when I'm gonna shower. Mine's my family's Christmas list and what I'm gonna get them. Oh, I scanned a document. Someone sent me um, player cards of me, so my mom <laughs> wanted them, so I scanned them into my notes page. <laughs> Tracking my Black Friday and Cyber Monday uh, <laughs> shipments. A list of things I had to buy for a team party. Mine is a to-do list of things I need to do as well. <laughs> I need to get a lightly branded Adidas hoodie and base layer <laughs> top for a media shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is just my account for our team payroll. Right. And it was a weird account name, so I had to write it down. <laughs> <laughs> Is fitness room confirmed? Protocol for tomorrow's game. Which rules are we playing? Snack room. Where's the Horton room? <laughs> Walk over as a team, question mark. Do we have timers? <laughs> so those are good questions. Yeah. You can take a sniff. Is that God. a bad one? <laughs> yeah. And it got in my cut. I can smell no. that. Yeah. <laughs> Eyes are watering. Could have used that. I, I know. I mean, I think just proximity-wise, it could be Montreal. I feel like uh, fan base-wise, it'll be like good, exciting games and people coming from both spots. I think proximity too, but Battle of Ontario. I feel like a lot of teams are gonna hate playing against Toronto. They might be the most hated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for many reasons. I feel like Toronto, Toronto feel or Toronto. maybe Boston. Toronto or Boston. I think maybe Montreal, because they're like so close to us and mm -hmm. there's like a big, Kind of like cross-border rivalry. I would say Canadian teams, some um, Toronto probably. Probably Toronto. Or Ottawa. Okay. I think also Montreal-Boston is like a historic rivalry, so maybe and based on today's pre-game season match, I think it could get a little physical. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to go with Montreal. That's the first team we played. Yeah. There's already animosity. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of think New York. I just think they, they're going to be good, and I think they have Abby Roth. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say Boston, probably. New York, Boston, kind of that local area. I feel like I'll get after a couple of them. Boston, too. <laughs> He's following the leader. Do you want a smelling salt? Sure. Yes! There you go. Can't do it I've been very confused on your smelling salts these days. Oh, I can smell it already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, brutal. Just give me <laughs> Hill, ha Hill has like a highlight reel. She's got like three. Yeah. yeah. Stealing the goalie stick. Okay. I think Bar Down actually has like, uh -huh. a good video. Of yeah. yeah. I thought I was so cool that I caught my own stick behind my back <laughs> and then I took two strides. I was like, man, this is heavy. Yeah. Like, I feel like either going on the ice with skate guards oh. on or clotheslining. Like when you run out on the ice and your stick's horizontal. 
I'm like where she was running, she holds her stick backwards pretty much, <laughs> and she was probably running and like held it and it like clothesline her. When I was younger, I got like kneed in a game and I was playing boys, and I was just like down, you know, chilling on the ice, like wanted to get off. All of a sudden, I like hear her from like the ice, like my mom, like she was like screaming on the ice, and I was like, what is going on? And she had like gotten onto the ice somehow, like jumped the boards, no, and was like, didn't. and was like yelling at the ref for not calling a knee. And I was so embarrassed. And yeah, that was traumatizing for yeah. a young me. I was playing in um, Ontario for juniors back in high school days, and I was late to the game. And so it was like literally there was about to be like a like a face off, yeah. and I still had my skate guards on, and I come onto the ice, and I just face planted. Yeah. It was really embarrassing. One of my teammates taped my skates once, so I went out there with tape on my skates and. Mine was probably U18, where it had Canada USA series, and there was like a late change situation where it's like, no, no, you're coming, you're going, yeah. you're coming, and it was so dramatic. And I was going, and everyone's waiting for me to get out, and my I got caught on the boards, and I ended up like falling on my back, no. half like had the wind knocked on me basically, and then had to continue to the face-off circle. <laughs> I was flow down for way too long. Oh, like, I did that too. I, but like I was flow down like in high school, and I remember one of my teammates came up to me and was like, "Hey, like, do you want to maybe try using this elastic?" And I'll like, <laughs> never forget it because I guess all the seniors told oh. her to like. Give me an elastic because they were like, we can't be seen with her. Everyone thinks it's hilarious, but uh, the most embarrassing hockey story for me is when I broke my ankle celebrating oh. our win. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Yeah, but it was good memories. It's a good memory. Uh, it's embarrassing days. because like I was so over the top excited because we have never won before. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> so uh, that's was. the issue. <laughs> she tried to hide in the media booth. Um, Which, in all fairness, I wasn't on the ice. So is that too many men? We were gonna get a too many men call, and she jumped into the in between the glass for broadcasting. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a hack. Yeah. But then I just looked like Birdie on a perch. Went for the Hattie in yep. Seattle when the clock was at zero. She was at the red line, and she yeah. was like hauling, hauling, you know what? Trying to put it Fan in. Fan favorite. And, and, they loved it. Yeah. People. Oh, I put it game. in. Slap shot <laughs> right in the net. And then the other team was going for her, and people were like, "Why didn't anybody go help Hill?" Yeah. And we had no idea because everybody else knew clock was out, but yeah. going to Hattie. Couldn't hear it. <laughs> Didn't hear the buzzer. I have one from the Olympics. In Czech, you say pecking okay. as a binging. So I thought oh. binging is just like a part of pecking. Yeah. So I'm like, so how big is the binging? Everybody was like laughing. You were, you were there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because it's the same city, Yeah, right? and you flew into Beijing. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. That I liked your one be... here. So the fire oh, alarm yeah. was going off and you just, there was just like a sniper in the stands and she'd get up, try and get on one leg, bam. Bam, bam, three was, times in a row. It was our first practice here, and I just could not. I was yeah. Bambi on ice. <laughs> I kept trying to get up, and it was three times in a row. I just like yeah. kept falling. Back in the days of CWHL, I uh, tripped on one of those red carpets that they like to bring out. <laughs> okay, I have one that happened around the rink. We were centralized in 20 for the 2018 Olympics, and I was a rookie and really scared. <laughs> and I wasn't dressing for a game, and the, all the girls that weren't dressing um, ordered Uber Eats to the rink because we needed food. And I was in like really high heels, and I was walking down the stairs with like everyone's soup in my hand, oh like a box God. of soup, and I fell from the top <laughs> of the stairs, face first, all the way down. Everyone's soup went everywhere. Oh and I like hurt myself, and then I had to play the next day and pretend I wasn't hurt, but it was. <laughs> I ripped my leather leggings, my heels were broken, it was really bad. My dad was really strict on like, bring your hockey gear. Mm -hmm. And if you forget something, like you're not playing. And my dad was my coach playing out in Boston and I'm from Minnesota. So I showed up for the game and I only had one skate and my dad was really mad. But luckily somebody had an extra pair. So I had to wear a size like eight and a half and yeah. I'm like a five. I looked like Bambi out there. So I <laughs> sat the rest of the game. I tried a couple of shifts and it was bad. I don't think I can think of anything embarrassing. I can smell it from <laughs> That is, yeah. yeah I'm crying. <laughs> you made me cry. What's your least favorite question to get asked by a reporter? Huh. Mine is just like, what are you guys going to change for tomorrow? Like, it's, it is like very, it's a personal question, but also like, sometimes it's just like, the game didn't go the right way. Yeah. The goals didn't go in. It's like, how do you think you guys can be better for tomorrow? <laughs> Pretty much insinuating that you play like crap. <laughs> yeah, what, what part did you not like? 
and then they'll get flustered. But or it's like, what do you think you need to do different next period? Get pucks deep. Get Everyone has the same answer every <laughs> single time. Okay, the one I can't even speak. I'm still recovering from that. <laughs> we always like the one we always get asked is like, tell me about the rivalry. Yeah. So yeah. it's not like it's a bad question. It's just like we get asked that all the all time. time. Tell yeah. me about the rivalry with Canada the US. So yeah. You start to sound like a robot. It's yeah. really bad. It's like the cliche answer. I feel like I always have to give like, oh, what do you have to do this period? And then I always have to answer the same. So it's not like I understand why they're asking it, but I feel like I answer it the same way every time. When we lose, I hate questions right after the game that are like, oh, what did you think of the game? Like, just like, I don't know, like who wants to talk about their loss? Yeah, like it was horrible. <laughs> but you can't say that. Being teammates with rivals and how that feels and how you're gelling and that kind of stuff, which yeah. it, it can be an interesting question, but it gets like a little broken record sometimes. Yeah, because we do hate each other. Yes, deep down, right? deep, very deep down in the soul, yeah. When the media tries to like pit us against one another, because a lot of us like are, are teammates and friends, yeah. and we played on both sides. Yeah. And now we're teammates again, and a lot of us genuinely, like there's never been any animosity and nobody cared, like, either way, mm. but that's never the narrative and we always get asked about it. After you score and the reporter says, can you describe your goal? <laughs> but it's like everybody saw your goal, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it was on TV, like people in the stand saw it. If you score and get interviewed during an intermission, it's a guaranteed question. What did your coach say there when you took that oh. penalty? I'm like, okay, yeah, none of your business. I think as of late, the old What's it like playing with an American? <laughs> with an American? Wait, that's the answer. And that's I'm like, the answer. <laughs> my friend that's also a human. Yes, that just happens to be American. What was the message in the locker room? I feel like they love that one, and I'm always see. I sometimes was, I just make something. I was gonna go with like we just had like a fire game, and they're like, "What does this do for the growth of the game?" But it's like not about the game that we just played. I usually don't like when they ask you like, "Oh, like this period was a little." Not as good. Like, what do you think about it? Like, what do you want me to say? I'm mad. <laughs> like, I'm I don't mad. know. <laughs> I have to say smudge on this. Oh, no. I can't do it on this one. What about that aspect of this self quiz? I've never done one before. Wait, ever? Never. Okay, now's yeah. the time. Oh yeah. Like zero reaction. Ooh. There we go. Right to the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the oh man. Over there. We gotta just do, do, do the smelling salt just for fun. <laughs> Like, open it all the way. No, but it got stuck. Why <laughs> <laughs> oh. you didn't do this once? <laughs> that wasn't, go. yeah. You know, I think I took all the strong stuff out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes watering yet? Yeah. Mine are. <laughs> That's my nose. You idiot. No! More! No, no. you touched my nose! <laughs> yeah, but now it's there permanently. <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, there's more. <laughs> You're so timid. I am never... Oh, <laughs> you. Uh, it's still strong. Save it for later. <laughs> Why are these things not resealable? I'm just gonna put it here. <laughs> Smell my perfume. <laughs> Can you take my perfume? Okay, okay, wait, does it actually work? <laughs> like, if I do that, like. <laughs> <laughs>